the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. From beautiful South Florida, it's all the Hard Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. about ready to get us going and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium and we will not get a run back here to start it's a touchback and it will come out to the 25 here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense you want to talk about a driven player partner this guy is absolutely that person he doesn't just have goals in this game he wants to be remembered among the best to play the position and he treats every game as an audition for that it's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Two at a throw right away. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hill. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I think defensively you're okay with that. You know, the first quarter is going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you can do. I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Two of finding Gesicki there for a Dolphin first. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Yeah, tapestry, if you will. Ooh, I like it. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Open net is Waddle complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. 
Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Two and now on first down. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Tonga Vailoa. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Let's talk about a rhythm breaker right there. They've been moving the ball well. Drive it started beautifully. That one's going to hurt. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Sanders kick is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So a pretty good opening drive that will make the home fans somewhat happy. They won in six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys are good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today, fam. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. At the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Well, no reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report.
first, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And that'll give us a good look at what they were able to do on the ground in those first two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so they dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. It's not quibble cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. going to try and throw on third down. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis, but it's going to be second down. is Allen. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Pass the 20. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. 
And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So Tua and the Dolphins down 7-3, to 45 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Tua. And they work this well upfield across the 35. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Here's Tua. That's caught by Wilson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Now Tua going right back to Wilson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Tongue of Iloa. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch it in that spot. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Two and a throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it ends with what most likely will be the game-winning 
and touchdown. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a short kick taken at about the 16. to the line to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.